have no glory to God that what's happening right here on earth is taking place, something happening in heaven in the name of Jesus. So I thank God, glory to God, that we are in the seventh month. I don't know about you, glory to God, but this seventh month is a month of freedom. It's a month of victory. It's victory, glory to God. Freedom, glory to God. I'm not just talking about deliverance, because you know there's a difference between being free and being delivered. You can be delivered but not being free. Can I get a witness in here? Glory to God. You know about the children of Israelite. They were delivered after you they got out of Egypt. But while they was in, in, in the wilderness, they were still, glory to God, had the Egypt mentality. They was not free, although. Because freedom is on deliverance on the outside. But freedom is on the inside. Oh, can I get a witness in here? God. I just don't want to be delivered, but I want to be free. I want to be free to have peace. I want to be free to have joy. I want to be free to not to worry and not to be afraid and not oh my goodness. I want something on the inside. No matter what's going on outside, I want something on the inside. Can I get a witness? Actually, neighbor, are you looking for a breakthrough in here today? Are you looking for a breakthrough in your life? Are you looking for a supernatural miracle? Spiritually, physically, emotionally, mentally, financially, socially, whatever area of your life. Take it, I'm looking for a breakthrough. When we face some difficult struggles, or terrifying enemies, nothing's more wonderful than have God peace in your life. And let you know the peace of God inside of you. And you don't know the peace of God inside of you until a storm comes up. See, peace attracts Oh, peace attracts storms. Did you not know that? Did you? Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm so excited. Because this book of Joshua reminds us that true supernatural peace is to reward of those who are aware of God's presence. Our true supernatural peace, glory to God, is to reward those who rely on God's power, not their power to make it work. Our true supernatural peace, glory to God, is our uh, glory to God, is glory to God, is freedom. It's freedom to rest in the Lord while everything else being turned upside down. I don't know about you, glory to God, but anybody wants some peace. I, I want to be free on the house, on the inside. I don't want to worry about what the, if my mortgage is going to get paid or not. I, I don't want to worry about what the doctor reports say. I, I don't want to worry about what going to God if I can't meet that obligation. I don't want to worry about whether going to God they're going to leave me or stay with me. I, I want to walk in peace. Anybody, I want to be free from all that stuff that try to bombard me and take my mind out. I can have the things on all the things on the outside. But there's no freedom inside. It means nothing. Oh, I don't know about you. But I'm looking for a supernatural breakthrough. And I, and I will use the title for this text. I will use uh, The Promise of Freedom. And if I would put a subtitle under that, I would say, This is time for a supernatural breakthrough. It's time for a supernatural breakthrough. You've been going around the same cycle year after year, year after year. Nothing heaven came through for you yet. Oh, but today's is an encouraging word for you in the name of Jesus. I want to know, have you ever needed a breakthrough in your life or, or some kind of deliverance or freedom? Perhaps you or your situation need to change. Perhaps you need a transform formation or, or your situ in your situation and perhaps you need something to be restored back unto you. Oh, you facing a, a wall that's so high, glory to God, as one surrounding Jericho. This wall of Jericho was a high wall. This was a fortified city, glory to God. And as far as you can see, there seemed to be no way through it. Anybody there? It seemed like, glory to God, you can't see no way out. You can't see no change at all, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. But the good about no 
someone that you need more than just your own strength in order to break down the walls that's in your life is that it forces you to rely on the power of God. Tell your neighbor God purposely allowed things to come up in your life. He purposely allowed nothing to happen until you get down on your knees. Realize you can't do nothing your own strength, with your own resources, with your own content, that you need God. Tell your neighbor, you need God. Oh, glory to God. And glory to God, only God's power can set us free. And his deliverance and freedom are always far beyond what we can imagine. Here in this book of Joshua, it's, in the, it's the sixth book, the sixth chapter. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I love the glory to God because something about the number six that draw me to this book. If I would have taught it last month, I would have said we're at the midpoint. At the sixth, Lord God, we're in the sixth year, and we're halfway through it. Nothing hasn't happened yet. And some of us was about to give up on God. And some of us was about to lay down the towel and say, God, forget this. I'm, I'm going to do things my own way, glory to God. But thank God for the seventh book. The seventh month in the name of Jesus. And this is the sixth chapter. It's where Joshua faced a very difficult task. He placed in the, the, the legacy of Moses and leading the inexperienced Israelites into the promised land of Canaan. Amen. This is a message of encouragement to you. Look at your neighbor and say, don't give up yet. Look at somebody and say, don't stop yet. Don't give up yet. Hallelujah. Don't you dare stop looking for your breakthrough because you see nothing happening yet. Tell your neighbor, think it just because you don't see nothing happening doesn't mean it's not happening in the spiritual realm. Don't you dare go in the town yet. Don't you dare curse God yet. Don't you dare have a self pity party yet. Oh, y'all better go here. Look at your neighbor and say, Don't you dare turn around. Don't you dare stop it. Ah, oh, glory to God. You in the seventh month and something is about to happen. Don't stop short of what God has promised you. Amen. Don't do dare glory to God. Something strange is about to take place that's going to blow your mind. Yeah. Oh, the seven mean complete. It's done. Enough is enough. God said, enough is enough of all your crying, of all your struggling, of all that you've gone through. God said, enough is enough. I'm about to do something supernatural on your behalf just because you hung in here and you obeyed me and you realize that I'm able to do it for you. Enough is enough. Oh, somebody better give God a praise in here. Enough the wine, enough the crying, enough of the doubting of God, enough begging God. Tell you, you have to beg God for it no more. He is going to come through. He is going to do it for you. He is, he is the God. He is a promise keeper. He's a God that cannot lie. I cannot be lean on my word. I'm a God that stand firm in the name of Jesus. The promises and breakthroughs are unfulfilled, I believe, because God's people, they go to God, they give up too soon. I truly believe that some of you have given up and you were so close to your breakthrough and your attitude came back that wasn't pleasing to God. Your doubt came back that wasn't pleasing to God. You start complaining again. You start getting angry again with God. But God want to let you know you can't give up glory to God. And in this text, I, I have learned three, several things that cause God's people are stopping short of their blessings, stopping short of their promises, stopping short of their freedom. God want to set you free. Free me, glory to God, that you should no longer be in prison. You should no longer be captivated. Glory to God. You should no longer, glory to God, have any doubt of who you are in the name of Jesus. But number one, what causes God's people, glory to God, to be, to miss their promises being fulfilled. Number one is our perspective. Tell your name is your perspective. It's your perspective. Your perspective is blocked. Oh, glory to God. What you mean, Pastor Brooks? Glory to God. See, the city of Jericho was built 
a uh, glory to God about a thousand years before Joshua was, was, was born. And in some places it had a fort it had fortified walls up to 25 feet high and 20 feet thick. Wow. Yeah, not 25 feet high, 20 feet thick. Wow. Glory to God. And soldiers standing on top of the walls could see for miles the enemies coming towards them. Jericho was a symbol of military power and strength. And they considered them, themselves to be invincible. But God, take the name of but God, but, but God. Oh, they never met the God that we serve. They, they never met the King of glory, glory to God. But God had an awesome plan. And then he had also plan. Oh, uh, yes, he did. The people of Israel had just crossed over the Jordan, the Jordan River into the land of Canaan. Glory to God. And this was the land of milk and honey have, that God had promised to Abraham over five, uh, 5,000 years or 500 years earlier. After spending 40 years in wandering in the wilderness, glory to God, the people of Israel were near on the banks of Jordan and their challenge. Take the land of Canaan. The promised land. Take your neighbor. God challenge you. Take the land. God challenge you. Proceed. God challenge you to possess. Nothing that gonna give just gonna be given to you on a silver platter. You got to get up and you got to use what God had trained you in the wilderness. You know in the wilderness. You were trained very well. You was trained how to fight God's way. You was trained, glory to God, how to see what God see. You were trained to stand when you didn't want to stand. You were trained to love when you didn't want to love. You know about the wilderness. We didn't see nothing happen, but you had nothing to go on but your trust and your faith in God. God took you out of worship him in spite of where you were. But you know what happened in the wilderness? Everything I train you in the wilderness, you give it an answer to your promised land, and you have to use those tactics. You have to do it my way, and that's what happened. Now they were ready. 